Hey guys, so I'm in this random city called Baishan. It's actually not a city, it's an autonomous region. The Li People's Autonomous Region, Li Ethnic Group. And in Hainan, that's one of the major uh, ethnic groups on the island. So I just randomly came here, okay? That's how I travel. Uh, if you don't know that already, I literally just point to an area on the map and I just go there because I find that's one of the best ways to find these hidden gems. So right now I'm going to try to find something in China called Baochu, which means, you know, hire a car, hire someone to take you around. So I'm going to try to find that right now and just head to, like I said, a random place on the map. That's how I travel in China. Let's go for it. So this is, I don't know, tier five, tier six. It's literally a random place I chose. There's what some local people look like. Um, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I thought it would be some crappy village, but it looks, looks quite nice. So this is a tourist region. That means the local peoples are the ones that govern, make the decisions. Um, so, you know, you'd expect it. This is a cool design. This might be a Li people design. I don't know. I don't know much about this uh, ethnic group, but it's obviously one of the 56 ethnic groups in China. There's so many ethnic groups here. But what I was saying is they designed the city that uh, to look uh, pretty much like any other Chinese city. I mean, just modern and nice and convenient tree-lined streets as always. Everywhere you go in China, you always have the tree-lined streets. Um, and then you also always have this too, the blind people's... Uh, I don't, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but it's something like that the blind people can feel when they walk. So those things are always taken into consideration when a city is built in China. Very, very nice and something that the West can learn from. I don't see that in the West. Yeah guys, shocking, isn't it? We can actually learn something from China. Isn't that a crazy idea? So I'm now in just pure rural area right now. <laughs> no idea where I am. Just got dropped off. I, I pointed to a random place on the map and here I am, guys. This is what happens. You can hear roost, uh, roosters crowing all over the place. Beautiful trees. Look at these trees. <sighs> yeah, this is how I travel. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. There's like a tree house over there. Or a little, looks like a teepee, right? That's cool. Alright. Got a little bamboo thing going on here. So I tried to bargain with the guy to vouch, uh, uh, you know, rent his car for, for four hours and he gave me a really high price. He's like 600 yuan. That's $120 Canadian. And then I tried to bargain it down to 200 yuan, which is about $40 Canadian. He didn't, he didn't go for that. Um, but yeah, so I tried. There's some, some chickens. Here it is guys, rural frickin' China. It doesn't get more rural than this. We're just literally in the middle of nowhere. And I just ate some food from the bus station. I feel a little bit, my stomach feels a little bit weird to be honest, but. I think I'll be alright. I have a really strong stomach. Look at these awesome plants. There's literally just chickens everywhere. Just running around. Look at that. Just random chickens. They don't care. They're not scared of people. Ro roosters and chickens. I thought roosters didn't get along with other roosters. That's what I thought. I don't want to just randomly go on people's private property, so I'm just going to stick on the main road here. But, oh, that doesn't look very nice there. 
Um, yeah, so, what am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's just so funny, <laughs> the most random place. Uh, Yeah, there's only one road. Um, I don't even know how cars can pass each other because it's it's kind of like there's lots of lots of litter here. That's the sad thing about small villages. You often see just like random litters and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know how cars can pass each other here because it is the width of maybe one and a half cars, I would say, this little road. But I think most people ride bikes, like the guy coming up here. Let's see. Like that. So that's easy for people to pass. Look at this. Such a cute forest with chickens all over the place. It's funny in China, like, they don't really pen in their chickens. You know, you would think chickens are pretty valuable items, right? You could sell them, you can eat them, but pretty much free, right? This is a chicken farm right here. I guess they're, like, wild grain chickens because, yeah, just running anywhere they want. Crowing their effing faces off. It's a little bit like chicken heaven over here. There's a local coming up on a bike here. <clears throat> this is cool. <laughs> Random travels. Brought to you by New Moves. I'm so glad I have you guys. You know, traveling alone, it could be a bit low. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Traveling alone can be a little bit lonely sometimes, but when I have you guys with me, it's like I'm talking to my friends. So I just have to say it, because I have to say it. Serpenza Lao 86, I always say rural China is this disgusting, ugly, poor place, but is, is that what this looks like to you? Does this look like a disgusting, ugly poor place or is this beautiful rural life that we see in all parts of the world you know rural Canada is a little bit like this um, I'm sure parts of rural America are like this or rural Brazil just people living simpler lives but I would actually challenge you guys and say, I think rural Chinese have it a little bit better because the Chinese telecom companies can reach the farthest, most remote places. I've never been anywhere in China where my, my, my mobile phone doesn't work. I travel alone all the time and I depend on my one SIM card. And I've traveled everywhere, like in mountains, desert-like places, and I've never had problems with my signal. And I never have to pay extra roaming fees or whatever that in, in North America, they just rip you off with, right? They just gouge you with these stupid roaming fees as soon as you leave the city. It's ridiculous. China, I've never had to pay any such thing ever in my life. And my phone bill has never been more than $12, $13 Canadian a month. So I'm sorry that I'm ruining this beautiful scene with my talk, but... uh I just have to debunk all this BS that we're getting every day. When I see all this beautiful scenery, I just don't, I can't imagine where all the BS comes from. Absolutely stunning.